Hey, it's Marissa from Atio, and welcome to the first video in our Sequences Introduction course. Our new email sequencing tool allows you to create adaptive, dynamically triggered email sequences based on real-time data right inside of Atio. In this first video, we'll look at creating sequences. You'll find sequences under Automations in the left-hand menu of Atio. Before you create your first sequence, you need to ensure that you're aware of and are following best practices for email deliverability to ensure that your email successfully reach your recipients. We have an article on our help center that runs through this in detail, so be sure to give that a read. Now we're ready to create our first sequence, so I'm going to click New Sequence here and give it a title, ICP Inbound Leads. ICP stands for Ideal Customer Profile, which will be the target group for my sequence. So I'm building a sequence to follow up with these ICP prospects who have filled out our talk to sales form. For these high value inbound leads, we'd like to arrange a call with our sales team as soon as possible, as well as offer training resources to ensure that they're successful with our product. In settings, I can fine tune exactly when my emails will be sent to give the emails the best chance of being opened and responded to. The sending window are the hours in which Atio will send emails as they're scheduled in the sequence and queue to send. If I set the window to 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., for example, but I enrolled someone into the sequence at 10 p.m., their email would get sent to the Outbox queue at 9 a.m. the next day. And depending on the size of your queue, it might get sent straight away at 9 a.m. or later on in the day. For each mailbox, a maximum of 12 emails can be sent per hour, and Atio waits five minutes between each send. The daily limit of emails that can be sent with sequences is 200 emails per mailbox. Atio enforces these limits to help with email deliverability, which again, you can read more about in our help center. Here you can choose to send emails on business days, or you can toggle this off to include the weekends. You can also choose your preferred wording for the unsubscribe link that will be added to the bottom of every email, and you'll also get a preview of how that will look. This lets you select whether you would like subsequent emails in your sequence to reply to the same thread or instead be sent in a new one. And here you can choose if you would like to include your Atio signature at the end of your emails. If you haven't already, you can set up your email signature in mailbox settings. The exit criteria determines what actions should remove a recipient from a sequence, preventing them from receiving any remaining emails in that sequence. You can choose from reply received and meeting booked. By default, all members of your workspace can see and edit your sequence, but you can restrict access to specific colleagues or only yourself from the share menu. Delegated sending is a powerful feature which lets your team members enroll recipients into your sequence and have the email sent from your inbox. When you toggle the delegated switch to on, anyone with access to the sequence can enroll recipients on your behalf. To enroll recipients using a colleague as a sender, invite them as a sender and then have them enable delegated sending. So now I've finished configuring my settings, I can set up the email steps in my sequence. By default, the first email will be added to the email queue as soon as the recipient is enrolled, or if that recipient is added outside of a delivery window at the start of the next window. You can also set a number of days to wait before sending the initial email. Let's add in copy for the first email. Variables let you personalize your emails with attributes from the recipient's Atio person record. I'm going to use an existing template, but you can also start from scratch. So I'm selecting my ICP leads template. This email is already customized to include a variable for the recipient's name, but I'll add in another attribute to reference their company as well. Clicking add step to sequence allows me to add additional emails to the sequence and select how many days to wait before sending. This second email will be sent to all of the recipients who did not reply or book a meeting with me after the initial email, so I'll use my follow-up template. We recommend following our guidelines on email content hygiene to ensure that your content supports your email deliverability. You can find this in our help center. You can add in as many or as few emails as you would like into your sequence, but for this example, I'm going to stop at the two emails. And now my setup is complete, I'm going to click Publish Sequence, which sets this draft live and ready to add recipients. So that's covered how to create and configure your sequences. Watch our next video to find out how you can enroll recipients.